to make sure that we just got up, got up 3 30 in the morning to my metabolic conditioning what's going on guys fry mark youtube travel day <laughs> and uh so got up 2 30 did my conditioning now we are um also checked into the flight i decided to upgrade us to business class we are bougie and win <laughs> extra four grand whatever in abundant and then uh, i had to just make sure that we had the right car rental so i spent the last 20 minutes making sure that we have an suv um can fit all of our bags today we're flying back to Kelowna sorry we're flying back to Vancouver we can't fly back to Kelowna right now because every time we book a flight to Kelowna it gets canceled this just coming in from the Kelowna airport where they're now saying the airspace surrounding Kelowna International Airport closed to allow aerial firefighting activity for the wildfires in the Kelowna area it's like wildfires airport keeps getting shut down so yesterday uh, there was I think there was 40 flights out of Kelowna, something like that. All of them were canceled. All of them. Uh, based on what the website was saying. Maybe that changed later at night, but we got our flights canceled and moved five different times, four different times. So finally, we just decided, like, fuck it, let's just fly to Vancouver. And then from Vancouver, we're gonna drive to Kelowna. So, got up in the morning, did all my shit. Everything's all packed. Family's packing up right now. Eating my breakfast. And then we are... Fine, Vancouver. Dipping the fuck out of Toronto. Finally, dude. Like, it's about I mean, time. It's been literally chaos, but um, I truly do believe that it's not what happens around you that matters; it's what happens inside of you. And so, I've been doing my best to just stay calm in the chaos and just keep pushing forward, keep doing my cardio, keep eating my fucking meals, keep being consistent, control what I can control. So, without further ado. It's gonna be fun. Enjoy the travel day. Kristen being late does not fucking surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. legit, like. Press the open thing. Read it. So far you were right, I should vlog this. I told you. <laughs> the elevator trying to kill us all yeah. also doesn't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that beeping noise? We got a rental car and it's a G-Wagon. I'm just fucking grateful that. So I think when you look at the Kelowna wildfire situation, it's like really, it's fucking wild. We witnessed embers jump from the west side across to the east side of the lake where we are here. It was chaotic and emotions were high. I was talking to Curse and I'm like, man, we're so lucky that we just get to travel and like do, you know, we can just peace out. And then I was like, wait a minute, we're not fucking lucky. Like I literally earned this shit. Like I've been grinding for 10 fucking years. My most favorite part of the trip was like watching Brian's hard work come to fruition. That was really cool. Just like the feeling I have before he gets on stage. Like that would be my favorite day. And then I think we just had like such a good group. And even like in the shittiest situations, we just made the best out of it. So I just enjoyed being around like cool people. My favorite part about this whole trip was spending what like nine or 10 days with the Mark family and uh, developing a closer relationship with every single one of you guys because I think that's really cool and I love all of you guys. I've been fighting to earn my freedom for 10 years and now I have it. And so when shit goes down, it's like I can take care of my family. Like we just flew business class. We're renting a fucking $700 car for a day so that we can go back home and we are good. Like I didn't, I don't think about money ever. So I'm grateful that I put myself in this position by my work ethic, my tenacity, my resilience. All right, you guys, so we just finished up, got some coffee. I'm out in the air clinic at the lounge. It's funny, as soon as we got here, it's chaos everywhere. The uh, elevator wouldn't come up to the lounge. It was like 5.55, and it didn't, or sorry, 4.55, it didn't open to five. So we were literally just sitting in the elevator for five minutes, pressing the button, waiting for it to come up. <laughs> but we made it, got some coffee. They have oat milk and almond milk, which is fire. I um, sat down, and I'm working on my event speeches right now. I figured that, like, this adversity, I'm gonna use it as an opportunity to like really work on some of the things that I've been putting off, like my event speeches and the planning, etc. So just finished editing all the ads for the event, for the virtual summit. Just wrote, I would say the first 25% of my speech and I'm gonna hammer out the rest on the plane. <laughs> we 
had so much fun. Brian and Mark always supported and taking care of us and giving us love and making sure we're okay. I'm super grateful for, just like Haley said, Brian Mark and the fact that he can literally take care of his entire family, all of his friends, and not even bad guy. And he's just the coolest fucking guy that I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Never fucking give up on your dreams and start now because if you don't start now, you're gonna keep working for somebody else with an average shitty life. And like, yes, it's gonna take time to fucking grow into the person you're supposed to become, but the sooner you, like the longer you delay it, the longer it's gonna take. So make the fucking decision that now is gonna be the time that you start chasing your dreams and you're not gonna wait another day. All right guys, so we just arrived in Vancouver. All of our flights to Kelowna kept getting canceled, so Kirsten and I made an exact decision that we were gonna fly to Van and then drive to Kelowna. So we just got our Jeep. We've actually arrived in BC, which is actually an exciting thing. When we touched down, I was like, oh, what a relief. So we're getting all loaded up and then we're gonna hit the road, Jack. Let's get it. Oh. Winning first place in my class was definitely a fucking massive up. I felt good. Support your partner endlessly on what they want to do. Always. We got the power. Got the power. We'll be here right now. Stay consistent. Uh, because it's just like you see Brian. You see him step on stage. You see him look jacked. You wanna know what he did? Stay consistent. I stay consistent. I go to the gym every day. I have an 84% in pre-calculus at 99% in PE. I have two jobs. I'm saving up for a Bronco. I'm 15 years old. Boom. We're the movers and the shakers. We're the motor. We stop for snacks. Just telling Nick, I'm like, I feel I'm, I'm like fucking I got like a vengeance right now. Like I feel like something that belonged to me is not in my fucking hands. I feel like somebody took something from me. And, rightfully belongs to me, so um, I am currently driving back to Zelona right now, and we've been on the road, but I'm like been really on top of my macros. We're doing a little bit of a diet break this week, so we give my body some time, time to recover, but as soon as we get back to Zelona, I'm going home, changing, um, getting pre-workout in my body, and then I'm going to go train all the weak areas of my body that need to get developed, so I'm on stage and fucking take my children. Absolutely, I'm going to the gym today. It's my guy. Dude, I'm an overall champion. Overall oh champions don't fucking miss workouts.